This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Do you want me to continue? Should I just leave? I won't take it personally. There are lots of different types of magicians. You've got card magicians, you've got stage magicians, you've got mind readers, you've got escapologists, you've got street magicians, you've got street magicians, but the other type of street magic, etc., etc., etc. et, cetera, et, cetera, et cetera. And being a magician for so long, I've got my own taste in what constitutes as good and bad magic, both in terms of what makes a good magic trick and stylistically, the kind of magic that I like. And there is one trick in magic that I truly hate, and that trick is the sponge balls. Don't get me wrong, the trick itself is amazing. The magic happens in the spectator's hand, which is, that is amazing, it's unreal. But what bothers me is using these little red clown's nose type things, which I just think are a really cheesy prop. So I decided to go to Carnaby Street and perform two different tricks for people. The Spongeballs trick and a trick involving casino chips. Now they're both very similar tricks in that the magic happens to something that the spectator is holding in their hand, so in theory, they should achieve similar reactions. But I wanted to go and actually test this out, perform both tricks for people, and then ask them which trick they preferred and why. And this is how that went. Evie. Evie, nice to meet you, Evie. How are you doing? Cage. Cage, Cage. Nice name, Cage and Evie. Good names, I like that. <laughs> well, my name's Stephen, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. That's my oyster card. Yeah, so. I'm here, you need that. I'm Kelly. Kelly, nice to meet you, what's your name? Eileen. Eileen, nice to meet you. Abby. Abby, nice to meet you, my name's Stephen. Uh, so I want to show you uh, two tricks, and then at the end just ask you which one you like better. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So you're almost like at this stage market research, as well as volunteers. Uh, so first of all, we're going to use is uh, this kind of little, little red ball. Uh, a bit of a weird thing, but check it out, check it's real. I know that sounds odd, but whenever I show people this, they always think it splits into two or something like that, or it's got a trap door in it. It's, it's legit, right? Uh, if we take that like this and kind of rub it. <laughs> what? That splits into two. Wait, what? That splits into two. <laughs> Thank you. I love it how your both of your reaction was like, whoa, and yours was like, I don't like this. There's always one in the group, isn't there? There's always one. Uh, could you really check them out, Samuel check them again, right? They are really, you're feeling emotionally unstable. From the red balls trick, it's going to get worse. Are you alright? Are you crying? Is this okay? I think we, maybe we should continue this. Evie, could you hold out a hand for me? Could you squeeze this tightly with that hand and turn over your hand like this? And I'll grab this one, thanks, and once again, I'll squeeze this tightly, look. Oh, nice. Did you feel anything? <laughs> Have a look. <laughs> That's, That's so incredible. weird. What's that? <laughs> I think you're so nervous. <laughs> that oh, no. vanishes. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. I felt it grow. Did you feel it? Yeah. I felt it grow. I'm not okay. Wait, what? Okay. Okay. Could you hold that hand for me? Is oh, okay? No. Oh, no. You're like, you're like, no way. All right. Could you hold that hand again? You get yeah, another yeah, job. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. So, um, Just one hand. Yeah, yeah, so we're basically we're going to use um, a red chip and a blue chip, right? Okay. So we'll keep this nice and simple to start with. Um, and could you just close your hand lightly over the two chips and turn it over like that? Uh, great. That's great. So I'm going to reach yeah. in and just grab out one of the okay, chips. Okay, okay. Um, let's go for... Let's do that, okay. Uh, and keep your hand a little bit tighter this time. Tighter? A little bit tighter. Yeah, tighter, tighter like that. Keep okay. that right. So now if I tried to slide that chip into your hand, you'd feel that, right? Yeah, it's not going to happen. Good stuff. Okay, I'm going to keep this chip in contact with your hand. Watch. Okay. Wait. Uh, oh no. They switch places. Turn over your hands. Open it up. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I'm just so. I have so many. Okay. You're okay. Really I have like... so many questions, but that was good. Okay. Watch. <laughs> Not sure if you felt that. Open your hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was it. You did a great job. <laughs> you look for me for the answer. Which trick did you prefer, the balls or the chips? I'm going balls because I'm more simple. So going balls? One to two is easier for me to understand. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think balls as well. Yeah, it's balls. Really I find that it's a really weirdly cheesy prop. <laughs> it's like I'm using a bit of a clown's nose. Do you know what I mean? And I always feel, I always feel a bit like, I'm like, hi there, guys. Welcome to the magic show. Great, I think I like, I like the first one. Yeah. So, I thought it was a Rudolph nose. Yeah, right. So magicians kind of have a bit of an argument about this because I cannot stand this prop, but the trick okay. is really amazing. It's cool uh, to see it grow. It's right. literally like, Do you think it's like the bam kind of yeah. thing? Yeah. I don't think you I should think, be embarrassed yeah. about the red ball. I think it's kind of fun. <laughs> like, it's getting a bad record no, but, now. I'm not sure why. But don't you think that, like, you know, the thing that we want to avoid as magicians is like a cheesy, hello, oh. here's my top hat and wand and rabbit and red tiny ball. Ladies, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Very nice Thanks. to meet you. Nice to meet Have you a great too. time. Continuing. It's okay. It's all right. Have a great time in London. See you later. Cheers. 
first two groups prefer the Spongeballs trick, which is fair enough, that's kind of what I expected. I just think that people love that trick, and it just, for some reason, they love that trick. So then I decided to perform again to another couple of spectators, but switch the order of the tricks around, just in case doing the chip trick first would yield a better reaction. Uh, and I performed that again, and the chip trick almost had no response. Like, they liked it, but they didn't really react in a big way, whereas the Spongeballs trick, they absolutely loved. Ah, that's cool. All right, yeah, I like that. That was good. Cool. Which is weird to me because I think that the chip trick is more visually interesting. Like you see that chip change colour, which I think is a really cool moment, and the magic happens in the hands. But nope, not as good as the ball trick. I also found it interesting because when I asked them why they like the ball trick, their answer was this. Like I, I think, I'm I think not it. seeing that, or it's like I feel like, I feel like, like cards or. Chips. That's well, interesting. That's, been that done maybe often, before, yeah. that's so that's interesting. Before, so this is yeah. because you kind of haven't seen anything like yeah, this before yeah, with yeah. the two red balls, yeah. but you've seen stuff with like chips yeah, and, and yeah. cards. Yeah. That's really odd to me because I thought that the ball trick was kind of like a, a popular trick that a lot of people had seen, but to them they liked it because they hadn't seen it before. So then I was just left wondering if maybe the chip trick just generally isn't as effective, it's not as good a trick as the Spongeball trick. So I thought I'll take that out and instead I'll do a card trick and compare that to the Spongeball trick. The card trick that I chose is a trick where the card changes in the spectator's hands. So once again, it's magic in the hands. It's as similar as I can get it to the ball trick. And I performed for two more groups and this is how they reacted. I will pretty much cut out the Spongeball trick but I'll leave the reactions in so you can see the comparison and here it is. All the cards are different. Would you mind just reaching in and taking out anyone you like? Have a look at it, don't show me. Show your friend as well. Mm -hmm. And um, just stick it back in, doesn't really matter where, yeah, fantastic. And would you uh, hold out a hand for me flat like a table? Uh, five of clubs, that's not it, is it? No. Could have been, that would have been yeah. all right. <laughs> uh, move your hand down a fraction. Is it close? Is it like ish yeah, or is it eight. close? Okay, yeah. that's nice. Uh, could you take your other hand for me and put it on top of the five? Like Keep that nice and still, great stuff. Okay. You can tell me now, what card was it? Six of spades. Six of, oh, okay, close yeah. six of spades. Have a look. Oh my god! <laughs> How did you do that? That card has now changed to the eight of clubs. Turn it over. Have a look. No way! No way! No way! No way! What the hell? No! Which did you prefer, the balls trick or the card thing? Um, I like the card one. See, I like that one. Oh, oh split. Yeah. Which one did you prefer? The, the card trick. Oh, yeah, the card yeah. trick. What was it about the card trick you liked? Um, that one, it was literally like this. I had like, to like... Our hands were literally on and there was it was literally like no all our hands. And it was yeah. like, it was just, no, that was insane. That was insane. So in this case, the Spongeballs trick came in second for three groups out of the four. I'll take that as a win. I'm glad that something beat the Spongeballs trick. I'm not really sure if this experiment proved anything, but I'm intrigued to know your thoughts on these tricks. Like, do people prefer the Spongeballs trick because the actual visual of the Spongeballs almost growing when they open their hand is, is impressive? Or is it just because it's a very, very simple plot? Something vanishes, it appears in their hand. And I guess the card trick is also simple, but I think, the, I think the casino chip trick is a simple plot too. So I'm not really sure. But my main question to you is how do you feel about the prop choice? Do you think that magicians should use the sponge balls? Because even though they're a bit of a cheesy prop, they do produce a really amazing reaction and that's what matters. Do you disagree? Do you think these aren't cheesy and I've just got this in my head for a weird reason? Uh, yeah, I wanna know your thoughts on this. I need to do a massive thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I am a Squarespace fanboy. I've used them for years on my own website and I recently made a website for the Westminster SPA on Squarespace as well. When you use Squarespace, you get your domain, your hosting, everything all in one place. I recently set up a store on my Squarespace site to sell tickets to my live show, which worked really well. They just keep the whole process of building a website really simple and I highly, highly recommend them. Go to squarespace.com slash Stephen Bridges to get 10% off your first website. Thank you. Thank you.